Jimmy on sports. Claire on London on ice cream. And the rest of us clowns. All of us on the final episode of the Cast Eye News. What's up, Wildcats? Dear Asian Youth Nova is having their annual Asian American Pacific Islander Festival at Furious Park behind the library from 1 to 5 on Sunday, June 2nd. We're going to go talk to one of the co-leads of Dane to find out more information. All right, so the API Heritage Festival here in Novi is held annually to celebrate the API cultures within our community. We'll have API food, games, henna slash face paint, and a lot of other cool performances. The festival will be held on Sunday, June 2nd in Furest Park. That is the park behind the library from 1 to 5 p.m. So a few of the vendors that we'll be having um, at the event are New Delhi, Kimchi Box, and Kung Fu Tea once again, uh, along with a new vendor, uh, Vani Foods. We'll be having a lot of vegan and vegetarian options available as well. So it's definitely very like food friendly. Our performers for the festival will be Michigan Lion Dance, Ho Aloha Polynesian Dance Group, Sakura Japanese Instrumental Group, and Numan Tamil Academy. In addition to this, we'll also be having a student-ran business, a sweet cause, selling baked goods, as well as a local Asian-owned bookstore called 27th Letter Books, who will be selling a few API books at the festival, in addition to a lot of other great businesses that you guys should come and check out. So in addition to all of these fun performers and food vendors, we'll also be having a few other activities activities there, including a trivia booth where you guys can win raffle prizes, a photo booth to take pictures with all your friends, a art display made by Novi High School students inspired by a Filipino American artist, as well as a where are you from map event where you can put stickers on a map to show like where your cultural roots are. The festival this weekend is the perfect place to bring your friends to hang out or bring some family along to have a fun weekend while still enjoying a lot of the API culture here in Novi. Hello Novi, your photography interest group will be having their final meeting on Friday, May 31st from 3 to 4 p.m. in MC Lab 1, which is right across from room 182. They will be watching a photography documentary and popcorn will be provided. Hope to see you there, Novi. Hey Wildcats, we are back with another food review for you. Today we are here at Stewart's, which is a classic Novi establishment where many people like to get ice cream during the summer. Unfortunately, our special guest Sasha could not be with us today, but it is okay, we will do great without her. We asked for the top three ice creams that people order from Stewart's. As you can see, there's a bunch of different flavors at Stewart's, so we're gonna try the big three, and yeah, let's get this started. First one is Hot Fudge Brownie Sunday. This looks really good. I love brownies. I don't like cherries though. Do you want the cherries? I don't like cherries. Okay, we're gonna give that to the birds. So this has got some ice cream, looks like it's vanilla, some hot fudge. It's got the little eh, brownie cups. Eh, eh. Sorry. It's a little hard to, it's a really big bite. Okay. Mmm. This tastes like hot chocolate. This is looking mad good. London, what would you rate this? I'm gonna give this, this is my first time trying this. So I'm gonna give it like an 8.5. This tastes real good. I would also give it like an 8, 8.5. Okay, very, very good. Next, let's do the Cookie Monster Flurry. This is one I've gotten since I was a little kid. Even though it's blue, it's vanilla ice cream with blue food dye. And then it's got chocolate chip cookies throughout it. And two little eyeballs so it can stare at you while you eat it. I like this. Hold on, hold on. It really does taste like like a cookie. Like, mm -hmm. okay, we gotta stop eating it because Darn it, you right. We got one more to try. I would rate this a nine, because I like cookies, and it's also like a big, like my big thing with cookies, so I would give this a nine. I would rate it a seven. I did, I like the brownie one. And last but not least is the Mississippi, the Mississippi, uh, and it's Mississippi Mud. Mississippi Mud Sun Flurry. Flurry, yeah. Oh, should I go check so we get that right? Yeah. Okay, we are. It was the Mississippi Mud Pie Flurry. Oh, really close. okay. It looks like chocolate ice cream. It's got, is that a brownie? Looks, it looks like chocolate, but I, don't, I can't tell. Interesting. All right, I got first bite. Oh, it is a brownie. Hmm, it's like a wafery. It tastes like chocolate ice cream mm -hmm. with like chocolate chips. It's very good. I would give it 
a six just because I like vanilla ice cream better. Yeah, me too. Like, I'll give it a seven though. I'm a big fan of chocolate ice cream, but I'm also a big fan of like vanilla, so I would give this a seven. My favorite out of all of them was the brownie fudge sundae. You've got brownie, you've got ice cream, you've got whipped cream, you've got some peanuts. It's got a cherry if you want it, but we did not want it. Mm -hmm. So, um, for me, I don't get any of these, but I would recommend like <laughs> Thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to try Stewart's for you. This is our last episode. So make sure to come give Stewart's a visit over your summer vacation. Have, Have a great, great summer, summer Wildcats. Wildcats. Novi's ASTC is having their very last meeting next Tuesday in room 106 at 2.45 p.m. They will be making Ella Seltzer rockets, and they would appreciate it if you were to attend their very last meeting. The final Awkward Pause show of the year is here. The Awkward Pause troupe is celebrating its 21st year with the Best Of Show. The Best Of Show will be Saturday, June 1st, 2024 at 7 p.m. in the Novi Middle School Auditorium. Current and past troupe members will be performing pieces from old Awkward Pause shows. I promise you, it's a lot of fun, so please be there. Saturday, June 1st at 7 p.m. in the Novi Middle School Auditorium. Come watch the Awkward Pause Troupe presenting the 21st Anniversary Best Of Show. What's up, Novi? Welcome to the last sports report of the school year. First off, boys baseball took their pre-district game against Livonia Stevenson, and they play North Farmington tomorrow. If they win that, they play the winner of Northville or CC for the district championship. Girls softball took a win against Plymouth Christian. Their playoffs start tomorrow at Wald Lake Northern. Girls lacrosse, unfortunately, ended their season in a loss to Brighton in the playoffs. Girls soccer also, unfortunately, lost in the playoffs to Milford. Boys and girls track have their state finals at East Kenwood tomorrow. Also huge shout out to our Valorant esports team as they're the only undefeated team in the country and are going to the national championship. That concludes our final sports recap. Thanks for watching Novi. Have a good summer. Thank you for watching the final broadcast of the Cat's Eye News. We'll see you next year Wildcats. I did it my way Regrets I've had a few, but then again, too few to mention.